Hello everyone and welcome back to another video where today I will be showing you how to download well how to how to create your own custom caliper color and livery color in Assetto Corsa. Now I literally was just I was asked to do this by someone on Instagram. Uh, if I just go into Instagram you'll be able to see. Uh, there we go. Uh, J dot C underscore spot uh, ask for something like this so I'm going to deliver that because that's what I'm here for ask me something I will probably deliver it so the first thing you're gonna want to do is get Photoshop you need Photoshop for this okay uh, if that involves buying it uh, or just downloading it from the internet I don't really care just you need Photoshop alright once you have Photoshop you need to search Nvidia texture tools and it should be the first one that comes up so you just go there and press download and then it will download something, you run through a setup process, all of that is fine. I'm not going to re-download it because I've already just downloaded it, so... Uh, after that's done, you will want to find your uh, Assetto Corsa file. So if I go into here, Assetto Corsa, then you want to go to content and then cars. And just search up the car that you want to change the colour of. So I want to change my Porsche 918 Spider. so I'm just going to go Porsche 918... Uh, this is the one that I downloaded from the internet, so if you go into uh, skins, you will see all of these colors right here. Uh, what you want to do, just find one of them. Um, which one do I want? I want to use... Okay, uh, let's just try copying and pasting racing yellow. So, uh, create a new folder, that's the first thing you want to do. Create a new folder, I'm going to call it um, acid underscore green because that's the color I want to create so then just highlight all of these control C and then you want to uh, put them into this file right here and just you know, view as extra just large icons I think and then you should just have all of these right here uh, so then what you want to do is you want to you, you see car paint that's the paint the paint color car paint um, it will look different on other things, but anything that involves car, paint, um, yeah, whatever. Livery is just the, the thing that comes up so you know what colour the car is. Uh, so yeah, that's that's that. Um, and then this is probably the calipers. I haven't played with the car for this, but... Oh well, let's just go into Photoshop. Uh, you'll understand all of this in just a second. I'm probably overcomplicating it for you, but it's really straightforward. Um, so let's just create a new one, um, it doesn't matter the resolution, I'll just do 100 by 100 just to make sure it's fully covered. So then once I've done that, uh, I just have to zoom in a bit just so I know what I'm dealing with. And then go to the paint tool, uh, brush tool. And what I want is to replicate acid green, so that's kind of this colour. Uh, let's just make it as accurate as possible. So maybe, we want to make it look kind of there. So yeah, that's not really looking too much like it. Let's just try there. Is that good? Ah, oh, it'll do. It'll do. Okay. And then once you've done that, just paint over here. The white boxes won't appear. They're just to show how small this image is. So just cover this completely. Make sure there's no white spots. Just completely cover it so it looks a bit like this. Then what you want to do, file, save as. Uh, name it whatever you want, um, and you want to save it as this, the DDS file format, so just save it to somewhere you know where it is, um, just save, and that should be all good, and we're going to minimize Photoshop for now, and minimize this as well. So then, after you've done that, it should appear right here, this should be the image you just created just then. So, what you want to do, copy that and drag that right here, then what you want to do is just rename Control C, delete, and then you want to Control V, enter. That is your new paint color. So then, what you want to do is minimize that, launch a set of Corsa, and just check that it works. All right, here we go. Main menu. Let's just find the 918. Uh, uh, not the CC49 Edition 600 LT. Thanks. Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Porsche 918 Spider. So then, acid green, here's the one. Uh, we haven't adjusted any of those settings yet, so um, 
we will we will do that in a second. Don't worry. Um, okay, let's just launch it and see what happens. All right, once you're in, there you go. Color's been changed. Um, so yeah, this is my acid green Porsche 918 Spyder, which is pretty awesome. Um, and the color col uh, caliper color is red, so that's been confirmed to us. Uh, so we know we're on the right track. We know what we're doing, and that's all good. So now I'm more confident to change the livery color because you know that it was it appeared. Um, uh, uh, um, sorry, I'm having a mental blank. It appeared yellow. So what you want to do is just go home, and the resolution was 48 by 48. So I'll just do 48 by 48. Okay. And here is our little product for it. Uh, okay, let's just find this. Ooh, go away, go away. Uh, so just drag this into here. Uh, that should be all good. Get rid of the background because this is going to be a PNG image. So all good. Uh, and because we just created acid green, the latest color should still be acid green. We need to make sure that's all good. And then we can just paint over it in acid green so we know the color we're selecting we just go file save as and make sure you save it as a PNG which is it. And save okay minimize that go back here and this is the PNG file we just created so drag this in here paste it rename copy delete Go in here, um, rename, bam, we're done. So then it should just appear the livery. Now the next thing to do is change the color, uh, the color of the calipers. Now I just need to, I need to find the acid green 918 that I'm trying to replicate here. Um, so it's the one in Sydney. So I can just do acid green 918 uh, Sydney. And it should come up with the 918 I'm after. Yeah, here we go. Uh, it has green calipers. Yes, green calipers. That's the one. Everyone's. Oh, look, there's my video. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, everyone says that this car's one of two, but if you just take one look at Google or YouTube or something, you'll find there's way more than just two in uh, acid green. So I'm not sure what that's all about, but oh well. Uh, so we know that the, the caliper color should be green. Now this file is 512 by 512 so we know that that's the uh, that's the, 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 the width and height we shall be trying to work with here 512 by 512 okay and now we can just get to painting uh, it's going to be acid green again um, so we can just paint it all in acid green um, just make sure it's completely covered no white spots unless that's your desired appearance uh, you could probably even do a Tricolore style thing, if you're doing a Huracan, you could do kind of the, the Italian colours, but yeah, you can experiment. I'm not here to experiment for you, you do that yourself. <laughs> um, yeah, here you go, that's your caliper right there, that's your caliper colour, so then uh, this is the caliper colour right here, drag this in here, and just like I've done with all of the other ones, Control C, and then rename, oh hang on, no, I need to delete this first. Rename, bam, and that's all good. Now you have all of the acid green there. Now you probably want to change this color as well, and I'm going to do this in a completely unprofessional and probably not too recommended type of way. And I really don't know which preview is which, so I think I'm going to have to change both of them. And let's go here. There we go. <laughs> that is the most hideous looking front cover I have ever seen. Is there another green 918 color? <laughs> this is hideous. Yeah, there is. Um, special Tropic Green, um, which is probably a better looking green than this. Honestly, this is the most hideous looking green I have ever seen. Also, why are all of the calipers now acid green? I thought I made just the one, but so oh well. <laughs> yeah, that's like that. Um, and as you can see, it's called acid green. It has a little acid green color there. Racing yellow still exists, uh, but acid green is the color we want. So I'm just going to quickly switch it over to the other color because that is the most hideous looking thing you could ever imagine seeing. 
Uh, the other alternative is literally you could just um, you could literally just just go without a logo or just keep it as is. It really doesn't matter too much, but I have extreme OCD. So what I'm thinking I might actually do. Oh, if you'd like to delete, thank you. Please delete. Or I could just, you know, paste the. Hang on. <laughs> what am I done? Uh, I could just copy this, paste it in here. Can I paste? Hello. Can I paste? Um. Okay. Let's just open a new one. That's that's all good. Paste. Paste. Thank you. No. Drag it. Just. Okay, whatever. Uh, make it full size, of course. And what I'm going to do is to simply mess around with the color settings to see if I can get this as close as possible to acid green. So let's just go levels. That's not going to do anything, is it? We want to get a filter or something on it. Um, exposure? You kind of want. Ooh, this is going to be hard to do. It really is. Uh, let's just make that zero again. But yeah, you won't be as fortunate sometimes because if you have maybe... Oh, here we go. Yeah, that's looking a lot more like acid green. Oh, I completely forgot about this. You can literally just change it to whatever colour you want just by this. The colour to colour probably won't be right, but you can get a rough idea for the colour you want. There you go, acid green. That's So, completely ignore what I just said. That's how to do it. <laughs> I always knew that, don't worry. Uh, so then you want to go file, save as. This is a much better looking car, trust me. Um, did, no, hang on, no, we just want to go JPEG, don't we? JPEG. All good, all good. So then once you've done that, go back in here. Let's get out of Tropic Green and go back to Acid Green. And then here we go. Untitled 3. Place that in there and rename it to Preview. There we go, preview. And now let's launch the game and just make sure it's worked. Alright, so we're in the game again. There we go, acid green. And this is a much better, this honestly looks so much better than that. Uh, I like how it's a slightly different angle than the, the other ones, but it's all good. It doesn't matter too much. <laughs> uh, so let's just test if the acid green colour has worked start <laughs> and I, I probably have to go over to my wheel to try to see if I can get it to yeah do all the, the spinny around stuff there we go acid green rims acid green bodywork acid green everything acid green pipelining <laughs> awesome that's very useful there we go have ourselves a little acid green <laughs> Probably it for this video. I do hope you enjoyed. I hope it was informative, and I, I I do hope you take something away from this video, which is it's not that difficult to change the color of a car in a setting course. So it really is not. I think that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed, and stay tuned for the next one. Uh, goodbye. You don't really need to save any of these, so just spam no. And yeah, that's it for the video. Goodbye. <laughs>